If you let people's perception of you dictate your behavior, you will never grow as a person. But if you leave yourself open to experience, despite what others think, then you will learn and grow. Welcome back, welcome back. If you are new to this channel, my name is Tabitha, and for the past two years, I have been living and working and traveling from this box truck that I converted into a tiny home. You saw the title today. I am going to be showing you guys how I have managed to work full time as a claims adjuster, um, what that daily routine sort of looks like while living from my box truck. Now, most catastrophe adjusters do live nomadically um, and live out of hotels. I just so happen to save that extra expense and I just live from this box truck. However, it does come with its own pros and cons. So today is my last day at this campground. It's kind of bittersweet because it's such a beautiful place. <laughs> so yeah, I've been parked here um, for the last two weeks. Today is checkout day, but I also have a couple appointments I need to go to. I'll show you guys around a little bit because I gotta finish packing up the truck. Cleaning up my space. Somebody over there and taking photos. And roll. All right, we gotta go. Learn and Come on, boys, let's go back. Y'all can handle your business. I have until the end of September. Well. That's what I told them. I want it to be done by the end of September. We'll see. But for now, it's the beginning of September. It's September 1. Hurricane Ida just hit. Well, it's September 2nd or 3rd today. Ida hit on the 1st. We here. And I already have a couple claims. Trees in the house. So um, I'll be looking at those this weekend. But anyway... I gotta get her packed up so we can get on the heck up out of here. Get on the heck. All right, you guys, as you can see here, I am just packing up my, my camp area. When I'm at work, I do tend to get a, a campsite something where I have access to amenities such as electricity, water, showers, um, and you know, the whole nine. Because when you work as an adjuster, the last thing you really want to stress about is where you're gonna be sleeping and if your electricity is gonna be working. So I do try to minimize my stress that way. This particular campground was the Smallwood State Park Campground in Marbury, Maryland. With the state parks, you only have up to about 14 days to stay. And once I've packed my campsite up, which is not usually a daily thing, I am now starting my day.
the convenience of having my office with me is I can sit there and type up my work. And again, as long as I am not, you know, in a rush to get somewhere, pressed for time, I typically can sit down and, and get that stuff done. All right, guys, I am back. I've been having some technical issues. Technical issues. I, I mix difficulties and issues. I haven't been able to record and film like I want to, but I'm back. So I've officially begun my countdown to freedom. I am planning, expecting to be finished here at work um, by the end of September. I So I just, well I finished my inspection, I had to drive an hour to this water spigot because I'm out of water. Um, I use this water for showers, just showers right now, but um, if I had time I would also be using it for like cleaning. Oh and the boys drink it too. But anywho, I'm about to, I need to run to UPS, so I think that's what I'm about to do next. I gotta drop off some samples. Okay, so the closest one is five minutes away. They close at seven. So that should give me plenty of time to get this sample in there. Um, oh, I gotta feel one more thing. So I made it, I'm good. I sent off what I needed to send off. Now I need to find a place to park for tonight. Preferably somewhere close to my appointments for tomorrow. And preferably somewhere quiet and private so that I can take me a shower.
look at this view, guys. What? Look at these clouds, y'all. Oh my God, it's like out of a painting. It's beautiful. So beautiful. I'm obsessed perfect way to end the day checking out sunsets from on top of the roof this is amazing hey guys so the lighting kind of sucks and that is because I'm using my battery lights today with those beautiful clouds come problems issues and of course I just haven't had enough sunlight coming into my into my truck, so I lost power again. <sighs> I'm so sick of it. I want new batteries. Anywho, I did an inspection today, so I'm about to get some work. Get into this work as much as I can before bed. A beautiful day I just got finished watching the sunrise and what day is it today Sunday Ooh, the sun child let me get on over here ah! okay so I have five days or four days left I don't know girl but we about to be gone that's all I care about I can just feel myself being, getting back to me already. I was uh, under the impression that I was going to leave last month. So I ended up like giving it all I had and I like got a lot of work done. And for them to tell me that I couldn't leave because of that hurricane. So I have been here this month. I gave it all I had in August, so September has been like, ugh. It's just been me dragging along. So, anyway, I am feeling so excited and so good that the day is finally coming, that I can do things and, and go back to doing what tab wants to do not necessarily what um tab needs to do <laughs> let's just say i'm trying to combine that they should be the same what tab needs to do and what tab wants to do should all be in the same I'm about to go ahead and get started on my work. I have a method that I'm about to take take on so I don't overwhelm myself and quit. No strong damage. Drowning. Okay guys, so this pretty much concludes my daily routine as an adjuster um truthfully i had so much footage i had almost 23 hours of footage to go through guys so if you guys want any more content like this please just let me know i'd be more than happy to put that together if you have any questions about insurance the basic questions feel free to drop them in the comments below because i will be making some videos um sometime next year where i will be answering a lot of those basic insurance questions that a lot of people have 
Um, and usually at the last minute when chaos has already come over their life. I really don't have the words to describe how I'm feeling right now. Honestly, it has been a lot. It has been a lot. Part of me wants to go into some long, drawn out explanation. In the back of my mind, I keep thinking that, you know, I've still been really blessed by this opportunity I've still been you know able to give myself the life that I desired over this opportunity and I learned a lot and I'm gonna be able to share a lot of the information with people that you know maybe didn't get taught insurance at a younger age <laughs> any whom I haven't been taking care of myself as you can see look at my skin it don't matter how much I clean my face it just gets worse it just gets worse so that's crazy I think it's because a I'm not eating the way I used to be I'm not drinking the water like I used to see I'm stressed as hell or have been so guys I gotta go never to go back to this place again and when i say this place i mean wanting the money so bad that i do something i don't want to do for it yeah that i don't want to be back here um and i won't say it, it didn't start like that at first the first time i got i did this i failed miserably <laughs> But I was really excited about it and I wanted to learn it and I was determined to say that I could. I've been traveling, I've been saving money, I was paying off debt and I was happy. And I realized the things that I loved about it, they were completely non-representative of the actual position. You know what I mean? Okay family, that is all for today's video. If this content was at all helpful to you, inspirational or just plain interesting, Please give it a big thumbs up. Be sure to comment below, subscribe to this channel, share with a friend. And as always, always, always keep creating peace. And I'll see you guys in the next video.